Hello everybody. In this screencast, we're gonna look at alert dialogs. And alert dialogs are very important in all frameworks, Android, iOS, whatever. So basically, these are dialogs which alert the user and indicate to the user some kind of error message or get the user attention and or the user to confirm something. They are al called alert dialogs in Android. So basically, the alert dialogs, the interesting thing about them is that they use something called the builder property, meaning or uh, builder, builder pattern, I mean. And the builder pattern enables you to use a builder to set up all the configurations of your alert dialog or the component that you want. And then you ask the builder to build and it gives you, the, gives you an instance of that component with the initializations that you, uh, or the setup that you intended. So now to use the alert builder, it's called alert builder. Here it is, alert builder, builder dot, and it's called alert, sorry, alert dialog dot builder, alert dialog. Okay, here it is, dot builder see here is the builder here it is and let's call it builder equals new alert dialog dot builder and it needs the context so basically the alert dialog dot builder requires the context the con the context is main activity dot this right here we go so it needs the context so basically now you have your builder so basically you could see builder dot and basically what we want to do is we want to say for example set title for example or set message so for example set title this is the title of the of the dialog you could say error right and then it uses i could do that right or what you could do is that you see that the builder actually returns a builder all the methods return a builder builder dot set title you see what it returns it returns the builder again the same instance again so it enables you to do something called chaining so i could do this set title dot set message i could say for example un able to perform task all right so now you have your set message and let's uh, for example we could do also uh, usually these uh, alert dialogues have a button okay so for example you could say they usually have three uh, buttons for example the yes no or cancel if, if that's the case so basically these buttons are called positive negative and you could say neutral so for example set button you see here you have the negative button you have the neutral button and the positive button let's have just a positive button for the time being and you can see these positive buttons they have an on click listener and some kind of a text that describes what they are going to, sh to show so let's do this and i'll say for example i'll say okay right and new on click list boom all right so here you are so now you have your builder so basically uh, you are initializing your builder the builder now is set up and now if you want to show that alert dialog what do you do is you say builder dot build or or builder dot create and basically you see the create returns back an alert dialog perfect so now do this and then dot show that shows the alert dialog all right so now if we run this what i did here is that when you click the button when you click the button here it should show an alert dialog i click the button here it is and it shows the alert dialog. you could see that it shows error unable to perform task and then there's an okay button now, if we uh, want to add another button, let's say I want to create a negative button. So let's do what, see what this negative button looks like. Here we are. Set negative button. Here it is. And I just copied whatever we had for the, the post button. I'd say cancel. All right. Run it again. And I click on show dialog. And you can see here you show you have your cancel. You have OK and you have your cancel. Okay. And basically the, the on-click listener, you can see here the dialogue interface, the on-click listener, there's an on-click that shows up here. You can do something, right? Basically you can perform some task, you know, based on the user uh, decision or the user uh, input. Uh, let's say log D, I'll say this is, uh, this is okay, right? And the same story here, this one is cancel. Right, and run it again. You can also add the neutral button. I think the neutral button goes to the left. Let's see. Here it is okay and okay shows up right we can also try the neutral button if you want so let's do this and basically let's say dot set neutral set button and it's the neutral button and set neutral button where is that here here it is and we'll do it like this all right so that's the neutral button okay and basically what I'm going to do is I am going, let me just clean up this. All right, here we are. No, 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 okay. 
and similarly here here it is we are cleaning up this neutral button and let's call it neutral so that you could see where it is i don't know or something I run it again and you could click here and it shows cancel and cancel because we have this cancel here let's say this is neutral or i don't know All right, turn it again and you can see that there is okay cancel and neutral so it is okay cancel and neutral is here right so when you click here it shows i don't know right? all right so that's basically the alert dialog it's very straightforward it uses the builder pattern right and this builder has methods chaining meaning each method returns the instance of the object that uh, the method is hosted in and then you can chain methods in that case right and uh, basically that's the builder and then you ask the builder to create and then show the alert dialog all right please let me know if you have any questions thank you